Okay, this tutorial is going to be about how to add a domain to your web host. Okay, so you have a web host where you host websites and you want to add a new website and you want to point the domain name to your web host, to your, your website that you are created. So here's my, um, my web host. I've got my web host here. I use um, uh, penguinwebhosting.com for most of my sites and if I log in to my domain name and I go to my cPanel, which is usually the name of your your main domain, like dan.dancecourses.net forward slash cPanel. And you log in with your username and password and you'll come to this control panel or cPanel, right? And I scroll down here and I open up my file manager. And in my file manager, I made a directory called iLearnFlash, where I'm going to make a website for uh, domain name ilearnflash.com. Okay, so now I need to go deal with this domain name. So for the domain name, let's say I went to a place called like namecheap.com. This is www.namecheap.com and you can search for the domain that you want. Just put the name in here, whether you want .com, .net, .org, whatever, and hit search and it'll tell you if it's available or not. If it is available, you can create an account and you can add it to your cart and you can purchase it for $9.69 for the year. Okay, it's not a bad price. There's actually cheaper prices, but there's also a lot more expensive prices too. So anyway, I searched for ilearnflash.com and it was available, so I purchased it. And in this window now, I'm at this window and I clicked on ilearnflash.com which is the domain I just bought and now I want to transfer the DNS to my web host right so I've clicked on this button right here transfer DNS to web host and now I go down here and I put in the DNS for my web host so uh, DNS one dot penguin host dot net and dns2 dot penguinhost dot net let's say now I'm not even I think this is correct it used to be correct so hopefully it still is and I will hit save changes and it's processing and it's all good okay and I can close this window now. All right. And um, so now I just need that to register. Now it might take some time, but eventually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to control panel here. And I'm not sure if this is going to work right away. And I'm not sure if it, it last time it didn't work right away. But what I'm going to do is um, it might take some time to register, and that could be the problem. But um, in a short period of time that will register and then I'll be able to um, so I've already told I've already told Namecheap to point that domain name to my web hosts DNS servers so I'm transferring control over to here but now in my web host I have to add it as an add-on domain so I go down to domains and I click add-on domains and it says, what do you want your new domain name to be? The new domain name is ilearnflash.com, right? Then I'll click in subdomain FTP username, automatically fills it in, and it automatically fills in a suggestion for a directory or folder to hold the site in, right? And it says public underscore HTML, which is my home folder, forward slash ilearnflash.com. I've already made a folder for it called I Learn Flash. So I'm just going to take off the .com bit and then I will put in my password. And I'll put in this password here, right? And all I have to do now is click Add on Domain and it will, um, and hopefully it'll work. Now, And see it says here, hint, this feature must be enabled for your account before you can use it. Add-on domains will not be functional unless the domain name is registered with a valid registrar. 
and configured to point to our DNS server. So if it hasn't propagated through the system yet, then it might fail. But if I click Add Domain here, then normally it would work, and then my domain would be all set up, and um, and then uh, and then when the DNS information, given time, propagates to DNS servers, um, main DNS servers, then uh, everything will be finished. Now, right now, when I click Add, it I'm not sure if it's going to work if this account has been set up to add on domains, but we'll give it a shot. I'll click Add Domain, and we'll see if it works. Okay, it's been created. So ilearnflash.com has been created, and so that was pretty quick that, um, that the information propagated. I'll click go back now, right? And now in my file manager, I could upload, let's say, a file. Let's say I'll go back to my file manager, and I'll go into the I Learn Flash folder, and I'll upload an index.html file as a hello page. So I'll browse for my file. I'm going to look for a file here called um, index.html. Index.html, there's a home page. I just have a little bit of HTML in here that says hello. So I'll just double click on that and automatically starts uploading. Right? Great. Okay, so that's done. I can close this window. And now, if I refresh this window, reload it, there's my index.html page, and we'll see in a new browser window if it works. I learn flash.com, right? Hit enter, and there it is. Hello. So already it's propagated across. DNS servers uh, <laughs> around the world, or some main DNS servers, and um, and the site is now live. So ilearnflash.com actually points now to this folder, ilearnflash, which is on my um, which is on my web host here at Penguin Web Host, and it was that easy. So Penguin Web Hosting, here's my cPanel. I go back to home, and it's all set up. Hopefully that was helpful and not too confusing.